Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. This is your friend Sachin Rakhra, and welcome to our channel, Router and Switches Concepts. If you had not subscribed our channel, please hit subscribe button and click the notification bell icon with all. Let's jump into the lab part and see what we have today. Okay, so so you can see the two tabs, switch one, switch two. Actually, it is it is open gear. I just rename into a switch one, switch two to understand for a much for a better understanding. Okay, so this is the open gear. It comes with 32 port, 42, 48 ports, and based on your requirement, actually. So right now we are connected into a 32 port uh, open gear. In this, you can you can give the description whatever you want. Uh, based on the host names, you can configure this. Okay, you can configure configure the priorities, port rate values, and whatever control settings you you want to do that through CLI as well as through uh, GUI. You can access this box. Okay, so it is it is it is a wonderful device actually for remote access and all. Okay, so let's let's try to log in into uh, switch three. Oh, sorry, switch one on port three. Okay, once you hit three uh, and hit twice enter, it will show you the login screen. So out of the box, out of the box, the host name of the device is basically the new fresh box is basically OS 10. Okay, and the login uh, username is basically admin and password is also admin. Okay, so it will give you a prompt again, a privilege prompt. So let's wait for that. Okay, so before that, before I jump into the configuration part, I just want to show you something actually on this. If you if you logged in into logged in into the box actually with admin or Linux admin account, it will every time it will give you an error. Okay, it will say it is not secure. You must change the password. Okay, so account should be changed to secure the system. Okay, so make sure make sure whenever whenever you install any OS 10 device. Just change the username password uh, of uh, of admin as well as Linux admin account to secure your system. Okay. So first thing first. So what we have to configure today? First thing. So we'll we'll jump into that next slide on this. So okay. So we have to we have to configure host name. Okay. How to log in? I showed you actually. How to set the host name? And we'll see what length we can set into host names. Okay. So how to log in? We had already checked that. So to go into configuration mode, we have to type config terminal, just similar to OS9, Cisco devices, whatever you want to call. So it is similar. Okay. So once you what you once you hit enter, it will go into a config mode. Okay. If you want to see what all things are you can configure you have to just type question mark it will show you the whole set of commands which you can run on this uh, uh, mode actually okay in our cases we have to we have to configure host name we'll type edge and we'll see what all commands we have actually so we have hardware hash algorithm help host description and host name so we have to type host and n because Host host is common on this, it will not work. Okay, so if I hit tab, it will automatically complete the command. Okay, so now command is completed. What host name we have to give? We'll see what is the length actually it will it will support. So we have to type question mark and it says maximum length correct size is basically 64. So it will not allow more than anything 64 okay less than 64 host name you can define on these OS 10 devices okay let me configure on this uh, the host name so 41 48 hyphen hyphen f hyphen on okay and you have to just hit enter it will quickly change the host names voila okay so how to save the configuration? Okay, before that, actually, you can run do. You can run do or downward command. You can run everything, whatever you normally 
do on privilege mode you can do on any any mode okay so in this case we are we have to write the configuration we can write and mem or okay because of capital character it, it gets it's through the error okay in do okay let's end this and config terminal do why it is taking capital we'll write the configuration and we'll switch into the switch two so switch two is on connected on port number four okay so once we hit uh, enter twice okay and give the username password admin admin it will it will give you uh, the login prompt Oh, sorry, the privilege mode. Okay, so with the host name. So this is the host name. So again, we will do. Sorry about that. Config T and host name, and the command is switch to hyphen s forty one forty eight s hyphen on. Hit enter, and you have to write the. Uh, write the configuration correct. So you have to come down and and wr. You can type wr and write mam also, or you can type only wr. It will work. Both the things will work. Okay. So we have seen what length it supported. Supported. It supports 64 character. So it will not allow you to do more than 64 character. Okay, hope this video is informative to you and it will help you to learn your networking skills. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for all the notification of our new videos. Thank you.